So this is the Renishaw AM250. The 250 in its name refers to the build size, which is 250 by 250 and about 285 deep. We can manufacture parts in a range of materials, including, for example, 316L stainless steel, aluminium, and titanium. So how exactly does 3D printing of metals work? Okay, the key features of a metal 3D printer. First thing is the build plate here, which is usually in the same material as we're, we're building. Uh, we have a wiper blade here at the bottom, uh, in this case with a silicone rubber wiper blade. Then you have a series of holes at the bottom of this hopper so that you can meet a new powder into the build and the wiper blade wipes it across here. Any excess falls down this slot. And up here, the most important part is a 200 watt ytterbium laser which shines down onto the material. Now, during the build, the plate starts here at this level and then we laze some of the powder, then it drops down, put some more powder on, laze it again and bit by bit we're building this up layer by layer until at the end of it it can come out and the powder comes away and we can take the part off the plate. Now many of the parts actually require machining. Now here at Star Prototype not only do we have metal 3D printing but we have a workshop full of three, four and five axis CNC machines where we can do all of this machining. Now the 3D printing is called additive manufacturing because we're adding layer upon layer. CNC machining is called subtractive manufacturing because you're actually subtracting material, removing material. When we do 3D printing of metals along with CNC machining, that's additive and subtractive together. That's why we call our new service, add sub manufacturing. <laughs>